a stupid person great that's the very stupid person that the ai generated as well So a company called Big Me kindly sent me a very interesting e-ink tablet to review. So this one is called the Ink Note X color that comes with a RAM of 6GB and a ROM of 128GB. This is a 10.3 inch tablet that comes with an HD display of 150 ppi with color and 300 ppi with black and white. So this runs with an Android 13 OS that enables you to download various apps from Google Play Store. And the actual package itself, I have to say it's one of the most minimalistic, which seems to imply that they are very confident with the actual function of the e-ink tablet itself. So I would consider this to be a hybrid between a conventional black and white e-ink tablet with the full color display uh, iPad or Galaxy Tab and so on which is a huge battery life saving and also very easy on eye to read and so on so i'm very excited to find out how cool this e-ink tablet is so enough said let's get on to the unboxing shall we so here it goes so it seems to have a two boxing within the cover ah that's very nice of them it actually comes with the leather case other brands will ask you to buy something from Amazon. Really good quality indeed. Big me. Okay, on the bigger box, look at that. Really nice weight with a very nice description on it. It also comes with a good quality pen. So if you were to take this one out, this is the USB-C, the instruction manual, and this is actually the tip, I presume. Yeah, so there it comes with a pin. We've got a bit of a sticker here, guarantee stamp quality pass and a warranty card. So to quickly run through on the right hand side, we've got a slot here that you can place your actual pen to charge like that. So on the top, we've got four microphone uh, holes. Okay, digital microphone, one, two, three, four. On the left top, we got the fingerprint power button, uh, front camera here. I don't know whether you can see on the left hand side we got the uh, speaker so here and here that's very cool on the bottom we got the slot for sim card and the usb-c charging port here on the back we got the ai camera function as well so after further investigation on this matter this turns out to be both tf and SIM card slots. So you can actually put in not only the SIM card, but you can expand up to one terabyte of external memory. So that's really good, isn't it? So this pen itself is quite incredible as well. So starting from the top, this is the laser pointer here. I'm sure you can see the lens. And this is where you connect to your tablet to charge. Uh, so on the top, we've got the LED indicator. Right below that is the power button, but also if you click on it twice, it becomes a laser pointer to turn it off. Again, you just press it twice and it's gone. So this is page down and page up with the eraser function. And apparently this has 4,096 levels of pressure sensitivity as well. So this is incredibly intelligent pen that you're seeing here. All right, so let's do a bit of an ASMR. Nice. Okay. Ah, look at that. The loading time seems to be taking a longer time than I thought. So we first start with language. I'm going to go for English. So yeah, you can actually do a touch screen, but also you can use the actual pen itself. It's much quicker response than the other tablets that I use, the e-ink tablet, by the way. So if we agree on it and click to initialize the setup so you can see the gesture setting showing back back home screen full refresh non none which you can add uh, so if we press on the next step uh, you just need to register yourself so i'll come back to that All right so it's updating the system after downloading more than three gigabyte of data but while we're waiting for this to be installed let's actually turn off the light to show you how the screen looks like this is brilliant even in the darkness you can still read all these texts 
in a really clean screen. I mean, it seems brighter on the camera point of view, but it's very nicely lit. It doesn't really hurt your eye in the darkness, so you can read the actual text for ages. So the experience of scribbling on with this pen on this brilliant quality screen is really good. So for example, we're on the pen function, but if we were to put just tiny force, it's a very fine line, but if you just press it down, it gets really thick as well and strong. So that's the pen pencil. Well, obviously that is indeed the pencil um, and brush. Let's look at that. Yep, that's a very strong brush yeah it does feel like a true um, one of those proper brush and ball pen is slightly thinner but if we do a slight like that and then strength it it gets thicker as well highlighter <laughs> wow so it just becomes a blob and then if you want to get rid of everything erase it just circle it and it's all gone so let's start from the top left we got the home button right below that we got meeting record so if we want to click on that Look at all these functions here. We got the date and the time, record settings, lasso, toolbar, share, more, undo, redo, next page, and you can actually replay the sound that you recorded, pen, pencil, brush, ball, pen, highlighter, eraser. So if you want to click on that, we got insert, uh, page, template, shapes, photo, text, and you can actually delete some of the pages or bits as well. So if we were to come out of that, the next one is notes. So if we want to click on this, we've got new and example. Let's click on that actually. So this is the red sort of purple bluish uh, example and the green as well. And you can create different shapes with different types of writing. And we've got layer, canvas, Lasso, zoom, toolbar, share, more, undo, redo, same as the meeting notes. Now the next one is library. So I presume you can download different types of files. So you can see that this is for the history, time scale wise and arrange it in different type. Zoom in, create a new folder, duplicate and uh, share or put it onto different folder. The next one is uh, storage. So you can actually check on what sort of pictures you got, audio, video, doc, package, APKs. Wow, all these software side as well, programming, all external storage. And you can see that we have already used 22% of the uh, available 99.6 gigabyte out of the whole 128 gigabyte. So that's a very good internal memory. And then we go to the app center. So we've got cloud, AI assistant, app manager, uh, B translation, browser, calendar, camera, uh, color dictionary, uh, Google Play. And there we got Kindle, one of my favorite functions, music, navigation, OneNote, nice. Online TTS, screen server settings, user guide, WPS office, and Xphoto. <laughs> this is amazing, people. I'm just still going. You can actually scan the document. If, if we were to click on that, you can see all the camera function here as well that's my phone that you can take a photo of so that's rather nice comfortable quality isn't it now the next one is office so you can actually download the um, office document excel powerpoint as well and you can search multiple import folder and wow <laughs> you even have the voice translation function as well so you can actually translate into different type of language if you click on that this is chinese english translation um, chinese to french chinese to germany chinese to russian uh, well i don't need to read out every single one of them but you can see even korean is there thai vietnamese uh, Chinese so you can do the opposite as well and lastly one and only the task list as well so if we were to click on that you can actually create a new so if we click on that you can either type it by using a keyboard or you can write it on a pen to do list so you can hide undone done top delete and OCR so on the top middle we got the screen setting as well so let's click on that we got X uh, launcher you can choose default magazine you can see the screen is actually changing comic 
video custom as well. So in other words, you can change the vivid enhancement, customize it, color brightness, and so on, and the full refresh frequency as well. Next one, if we click on the three lines, it actually shows what sort of history you've gone through through the app perspective, I guess. And this one is the similar one, just a full app page, which was available on the left-hand side. If you go on to the settings, wow, look at that. Uh, your login settings, Wi-Fi network, Bluetooth, stylus, page, key definition, sleep time, shutdown, power manage, home screen style, menu, manage, language, system font size, date, time, input, method, rotation. Just this goes on and on, isn't it? Gesture settings, device password, Google service, account manage, system update, log report, after sale service, and about the device as well. And anytime you could do the factory reset. And next one, it just shows the quick menu of shortcuts of those useful tools, just like a mobile phone. So this is literally same as those tablet with a e-ink effect with color effect as well. Now on the right hand side, if you click on this, it shows you home, go back, uh, duplicate, and um, all these different types of symbol that I still yet need to learn. This I presume is power off. So I've been to the web browser. So this is the image search result of slam dunk. So let's actually click on one of this image here and zoom right in. Look at that people. Uh, it's slightly pixelated, but it's just hardly, it's a really lovely effect. Um, it's slightly contrast to what you can see from the camera, but it's a very satisfactory sort of result. Yet again, a um, bit of pixelated, but I just still love it. So there's some sort of classy effect about this whole thing. And then if we were to go back, you can scroll up and down on image search results and so on. So this is my YouTube homepage and let's see if we can play some of the videos that I uh, recently reviewed. Look at that. Okay, so it's slightly slow and pixelated, but I don't mind. So let's do a full screen. So that's the full screen. <laughs> pretty impressive. So if you want auto ghosting elimination algorithm and added a anti shake functions and so on, all you need to do is click onto the screen settings here and go to customs. So make sure you choose the anti shake and auto clean for the anti shake. You have a better uh, video display experience for the auto clean obviously is for the uh, auto ghosting elimination uh, process as well. So please do try that out. So I just logged into my Kindle app. So let's click on the Van Gogh that I actually downloaded. So the text itself is really smooth read and the brightness is just perfect. And if we were to go to the next page, you can zoom in. This is Van Gogh's sort of childhood photo and so on. Um, and it's just so nice indeed, isn't it? So if we press X, we go back to the original size. And uh, this is definitely a replacement for the Kindle ebook. I was thinking of buying one recently and I just don't need to buy one because I got a better sort of e-ink tablet. So I took a selfie of myself and you can do a quick image editing or uh, keep notes on it. So let's say if we use a pen here and I want to change the bit of the thickness on it. So if I click on that, you can choose what sort of color and then change the width as well. So let's go for red and then close that. And then if I were to draw it here, yeah, so that's a very quick response of a ginger red sort of mustache here and there. Okay. But if we were to do a brush and if I want to change the actual thickness of it to this and with a lemon color on it, and then I could draw things around here and there. So it's making it a bit more artistic way, isn't it? So you can do this and that. 
So this definitely is a very interesting feature indeed. It has a chat GPT function as well. So if you go to the new page and then if you were to press the record, not only it will write things down on what you just say, but also it will be able to uh, summarize what you have actually uh, been saying for the whole thing. But you could also play back whatever the person said here and there, blah, blah, blah. So let's say if this is all finished, you just need to press the transcribe. So that word remains. So you could get a summary for it, polish and view full, but you could also play back the actual voice that has been recording as well. Look at that. That's really impressive, isn't it? And if you want to do some separate notes here, choose the width and um, hello um and then smiley face and let's say in the middle of this whole meeting you want to insert an image so let's go back to the photo again and insert uh the photo safety photo that i have taken uh, double click on that and you have actually inserted it there you can drag it there and then once it's done you just click on it and then you can draw something on it uh, keep a note saying this is an idiot okay and something like that that's how you can take notes so there's so many different ways uh, you can upgrade yourself of taking notes pasting in images so this is very useful indeed so here you have it folks this is very interesting indeed we got the chatbot function so you'll be able to type in whatever you want to say for example i miss you how are you with a chat gpt intelligence on it you can go to the composition as well you can come up with a theme and outline what sort of things you wanted to say like an essay or blah 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 that sort of really interesting writings and so on and lastly we got the ai draw now this is something i never tried but let's say i would like this to create a uh, stupid person so if we ask for start to create and look at that so if we were to double click on that that's the very stupid person that the AI generated as well. So that's brilliant. Well done. So if you go to the app center and then go to cloud, you can actually go to the OneDrive, which I'm already logged in. And this is a typical PDF uh, plan that I actually worked on. So let's choose the actual pen color to red and then click on here. So um, you can zoom in and you can make a note saying that this is a lift and that's really fine line isn't it you got to zoom right in to be able to see what's going on you do need this really thin line and then you can zoom out and then you could put measurement for example here would be two three four two and this will be one, five, six, eight. So that's how you can work on with a site survey. So for meeting records or notes, for example, if you want to synchronize with your online cloud, this is a quick test note with a smiling heart on it. So if we were to click on this save and come out of it, you just need to hold press on this one and it'll show you an example of sync, okay? And then these are the various options you can actually upload on the uh, Big Me Cloud. But in this case, uh, not the Google Drive, let's use the Dropbox. So if you click on that, it will basically say, do you want to save it to this folder? So if we were to go to my smartphone app for Dropbox, um, you can see this is actually saved in a PDF form. Okay, so let's zoom right into this. Actually, you can't <laughs> for some reason. But anyway, so this is the note that I saved. So it's the same case for photos as well. So if you want to upload this to a Dropbox or any of the cloud, you just click on that for a while and you click on upload. And then these are the options you can choose from. So again, we're going to the Dropbox and then you click on it and then you make sure you save it into the right folder. Uh, so for example, if we go to the actual page itself and open it up. So this is the front camera, how it looks like. And this is the rear camera quality. So I would say it's pretty much very similar 
of uh, quality indeed. And again, you can actually share it by a Bluetooth as well. So if you click on that, you'll see there's a print Bluetooth messaging. If you see all, there's so many different options like JPEG to PPT. As you can see, these are the two images that I just uploaded. So if we click on it, that's how it looks like. So the quality is not bad. Uh, I think it could get better. It feels a bit brushed, but it's good enough to uh, work on if you see what I mean. So if we go back, that's the other image. Uh, so yeah, it's a bit blurred because it was a bit dark. Uh, but um, funny enough, it actually does have the flashing effect as well. So you can get a better quality image indeed. So do I think the Ink Note X color is worth the money? Absolutely. It's just more I click on buttons here and there, more things I discover. So I'm not sure whether I'm covering most of the subject that I discussed on this video. So this will be a first impression. But anyhow, to sum it up, you can use this as a conventional paperless e-ink tablet. So you can write down notes and not only that, you can include the uh, chat GPT function of recording voice and then do the summary of it and so on, just like I shown early on. You can use this as a Kindle e-reader as well, which is probably going to be my favorite function because it's a nice screen and rather larger screen than the Kindle uh, screens that you normally get. This has an AI function as well. Can you believe that? So you can actually have a constant chat with chatbot, just like a real person. This will be a very much your best pal in a screen. This could create AI images and composition as well and etc. So overall, I'm really impressed and I think I'm going to thoroughly enjoy. This is going to be a huge upgrade for me for using a e-ink tablet, a paperless tablet and so on. So I would really like to thank Big Me for sending me this really good a quality high-end e-ink tablet. So I hope this video summed it up what this is mainly overall on the surface. But if you have any queries, please do comment below. And thank you very much for watching this video. This is LJP Tech. All the best. Bye-bye.